yeah, there's there's a series of them. There's one that um, I, I'm st- still trying, starting to sort of understand, which is one uh, um, where I think I was back being a baby. I was sort of back in some type of a, like a nursery sort of setting. Um, and I had a, a recall of, you know, very sort of cartoonish sort of characters, uh, some of which I'm not sure if they're cartoonish characters from my childhood or, you know, some had some images that, you know, made me think that they were sort of family but not a clear image there. And, um, you know, just... Uh, and it was... It, it felt like I was sort of... A, um, got to whatever is the scariest thing to my being and trying to understand that. I don't know where that came from. You know, maybe it's the first time, time somebody didn't feed me in two hours. I have no idea what it went back to, but it was really clear that, you know, I was going back as a, you know, 30-something-year-old guy to what it was like to being a, a little baby, and it felt very real, like that I was sort of back there and that was just accessing, uh, you know, part of, uh, you know, part of my mind and conscious. I, I still, I've, I've tried actually to sort of go back to that place and process that. I feel like um, um, if I can understand that, I have a feeling I can get some uh, some understanding of like the fears that we all have in, in sort of in life. I mean, we talked about that I was scared going into it. Well, that was clearly accessing some of the scary things in, in my life. So that was... Um, something, as again, I still don't really understand what, what went back there, but that was um, interesting. It was interesting just to see that, um, I think, you know, if you ask me, can I remember much before age three or four? I can't. I think most of us probably can't, but um, this actually took me back to those, um, uh, to that time. Um, I haven't, uh, I haven't been able to do you know other processes that might get me back there? But that seemed like a potentially um, seemed interesting. That was one thing. I had a series of experiences that um, really were, were just very otherworldly. Would be the um, easiest way to to describe it. Um, um, where I felt um, kind of. You know, try to talk about this, not sound like you're crazy. Um, <laughs> you know, um, where I felt in very direct communication um, with um, um, other beings. I mean, I felt like I was talking there. They would occur in several of the sessions. Um, you know, I think I tried the best I could to describe them as sort of, um, you know, mechanized owl sort of beings. I mean, I would look there and um, uh, it felt like um, I was in touch with um, just some just very deep, um, deep and ancient beings. And, um, you know, I felt a little bit, uh, I remember one session I came out with, um, just as I came out, I just just came out with like the biggest sort of feeling of smile and feeling like um, I think what I was telling uh, you know Rick and there I just felt like I'd been blessed you know just this sort of and this came out with this incredible feeling of sort of you know um, a peace in the universe from this and it stayed with me for three or four weeks I mean I just woke up every day just in a different state of sort of awakeness and um, inner alertness as I did, you know, some of the, um, you know, the, the higher dose, um, you would, there's definitely like a, a rush of sort of, you know, fear as I went there, this kind of like rapid, uh, um, you know, rapid losing, um, losing my being, who I was just sort of descending there. The, um, the session where um, we did repeated uh, doses was really good because I was able to process through some of the fear and then it wasn't it wasn't there when we did the you know when we when we did the next dose there and that was that I was able to release you know release more and um to that that sense of peace I've there's there's parts that have remained myth uh, with me which is in some you know spiritual sense of just a nature of um that this just isn't 
all like this, you know, floor and the walls, and this is not just, you know, all that's there, which, you know, um, you know, part of me had a belief that it was a belief. This is not a belief. This is sort of like you've just seen something different, which is not, an inter is not interpretable. I mean, we're not supposed to be like talking to other beings. I mean, we're on this plane here, you know, we talk to our friends or we talk to things. And um, the, the fact that that happened, I, don't, I think, gives me a different belief in the you know, what's out there. I mean, I don't just believe that the more simplistic mechanistic model of the universe that I grew up with explains things very well.